So, now that we've uh, learned about the normal distribution, the 6895 99.7 rule, how standard deviations apply and work with the normal distribution, let's put it all together. Objective, given a normal distribution, use the 6895 99.7 rule to answer questions. Okay, what do we know? We know what a normal distribution is, a graphical display of normal data in which the data tend to cluster around a central value, the mean, with fewer and fewer values occurring as you move away from the mean. Okay, so there is my bell curve, and uh, this is my mean. All the data is represented by the area under the curve, which is 100% or 1. And as you get further and further away from the mean, the area under the curve gets smaller and smaller. Okay, so most of your data is occurring around the mean. We know we have symmetry about the mean. Okay, so let's take a look at how that would work. I'll put that here. We know we have symmetry about the mean. So this, the mean, this, uh, this, it is symmetrical about this vertical line. If we fold it over on that line, we will match it up. 50% of the data is above the mean and 50% of the data is below the mean. And we know the 68, oh wait, we know what a standard deviation is. A measure of how spread out the data are. So we go up plus one standard deviation, plus two and plus three. Go down one standard deviation, two, and three. Okay? And we know the 68, 95, 99% rule that tells us that, that within one standard deviation, 68% of our data values lie. The vast majority of us are within one standard deviation of the mean. If you go out to two standard deviations, you've now covered 95% of the data items, be it heights or uh, intelligence scores, if you will. Okay, we now covered underneath that curve is 95% of the data. If you go out to three standard deviations, you've covered 99.7% of the data. Almost all of it is within three standard deviations of the mean. Okay, let's do some problem solving with this. Give me a sec second to uh, change some papers here. Okay, we're gonna go back to male heights. Again, heights are very normal. We're all clustered around an average height. Let's take a look at this here. So we're, we were told, we're told, example one, that uh, we have a normal distribution of um, adult male heights, and the mean is 70, and the standard deviation is four. Okay, let's go ahead and label our diagram. Always helps to see it. This is the mean. This is one standard deviation above, two above, three above, and it goes on for, to infinity. This is one standard deviation below, two below, and three below, and it goes on that way to, I guess, negative infinity. Okay, let's put, our, let's put in the numbers that apply to this situation. So our mean for adult men is 70 inches. One standard deviation above the mean is 74 inches. Add four because that's one standard deviation above. Add four again for two standard deviations above. Add four again for three standard deviations above. Now let's go below the mean, subtract four, and we're at 66 inches, one standard deviation below. Subtract four, and we're two standard deviations below at 62 inches, and subtract four, and we are three standard deviations below at 58 inches. Now we can answer some questions about this using that rule. Let me keep that picture there. Use the normal distribution of male heights to find the percentage of men with heights. Okay, we have five things here. 
between 66 inches and 74 inches. So basically, we're going to go into here, and we want to know what percent of our men fall between 66 and 74 inches tall. Fall between 5 foot 6 and 6 foot 2. Okay, with 5 foot 10 being the mean. Well, this turns out to be exactly from negative 1 standard deviation to positive 1 standard deviation. From negative 1 to positive 1, which we know from our 68, 95, 99 rule means that 68% of adult men fall between 1 standard deviation up below the mean and 1 standard deviation above the mean. Okay, I'm going to erase that and go to the second question. That's why I kind of typed, I wrote it in kind of lightly there. What percent of men fall between 70 and 74 inches? Well, here's 70, here's 74. The, this is the percent of men that fall between 70 and 74 inches, between 5 foot 10 and 6 foot 2. What percent of men fall between those two? So this is from the mean, and I'm kind of going left to right, to positive 1 standard deviation. Well, what do we know? We know from negative 1 to positive 1 is 68. We know it is symmetrical about the mean, so we can take that 68% and we can divide it by 2, and we're going to come up with 34% of men are in this section of the curve between the mean and 1 standard deviation. I am 73 inches, so I guess I fall right in there uh, just under 1 standard deviation above the mean. Letter C, what percent of men are above 78? I'm going to erase this. Okay, so here's my 78. And this is the percent that are above. And again, this goes on forever. It just gets smaller and smaller. Obviously, not many men <laughs> are above 6 foot 6. But we know that as we walk around, okay? There aren't many... Just so there aren't that many six foot six people out there. I mean, we see them a lot in basketball games, but we really don't see them very often in real life other than basketball players. Six foot six is quite tall. So how do we find the percentage of men that are above 78? Well, we can use symmetry and the mean to assist us. We know that this section is 50%. Okay, so 50%. We got to find this section. Well, that section is half of the of this piece of minus two to positive two, which is the ninety-five percent part of the rule. So if we had fifty percent plus half of the ninety-five percent, and we subtract it from one hundred because one hundred percent is under the entire curve, we'll get this little tail right here. So if I say, listen, below the mean. Okay, plus half of 95%. Okay, that tells us this is 50%. Those are the ones that are below the mean. The 95% is between minus 2 and positive 2 because of our 68, 99.7% rule. We want this half. Okay, uh, I didn't, that uh, equals 50% plus 47 and a half percent. Well, that tells us that below this positive two, 97.5% of our people are below. Okay. Well, how many are above? We'll take 100, subtract that. So above, above 78 inches is 100% minus 97.5%, be my point in there. So only 2.5% of adult men are taller than 78 inches, are above, taller than above, or taller than six foot six. 
Okay, that's one way to do it. There are you know, probably two or three ways to do it, but that's the way I chose to do it. Okay, I'm now going to erase this one. And let's go back and let's do what letter D tells us. Between 62 and 78. Okay, let's go back up to our graph. Between 62 is here and 78 is here. Well, that is all of these men. That's the, obviously the vast majority are between 62 and 78. Well, we're actually, we're perfectly between negative two and positive two. And so we can use our 68, 95, 99.7 rule. So I'll come down to here and I will say from negative two standard deviations to positive two standard deviations, well, that's just simply 95%, okay? Because we know that from our 68, 95, 99% rule. So in other words, 95% of adult men are between the height of five foot two inches and six foot six inches, okay? And again, at six foot one, I'm, with, I'm in there. I am like, you know, I am within that 95% of men. Okay, last but, la last but not least, letter E. What percentage of men are below 58? Well, not many. Let's go back to our curve and we'll see it. Here's 58. That is this little wing right there. That little area which this graph has a hard time showing, but there's a little bit of area under the curve that goes on to infinity or negative infinity in this case. There is some space in there. This curve doesn't show it very well because it's very tiny. So what percent of men are below five, uh, four foot 10? Not many adult men are below four foot 10. Okay, well, how can we solve this? Well, again, we know there's symmetry. We know from here to here, is 99.7%. We know it's symmetrical, so this one plus this one will be what's left, 0.3%, and we want half of that. Okay, so let's go down to here and do that math. We know that we have 99.7% that are between negative three and three standard deviations, and half of the 0.3% that remains, this is the amount, this is the percent that are above. And this is gonna be 99.85%. So back to here, we use some symmetry. Okay, this between negative three and positive three is 99.7. Okay, we know that this, if we have, we have 0.3 left, so this part is 0.15. We add this together with that, and we come up with 99.85, and below that must be 100 minus, 100 minus 99.85%, and we come up with 0.15% of men are below 58 inches. Okay, and again, there are, there are numerous, there are two or three ways to do this using that picture. I just chose this way. There are lots of other possibilities as well. Go back up to here, and you can see clearly 0.15% of the, of the area under this curve is in this section right here that goes on forever. So a very, very, very small percentage of men are shorter than 4 foot 10, okay, adult men. Okay, there you have it. Some working, a fair amount of work with the normal distribution and the uh, 6895 99.7 rule.